If you've ever used Tailwind CSS before, I've got a tool that you definitely want to check out to improve your workflow. What's up, everyone? My name is James Hewick, and I do weekly videos about web development related topics. And basically, my default for styling recently has been Tailwind CSS. If you're not familiar with this, Tailwind CSS is a class based utility CSS framework where you have all these different utilities for margin and spacing and padding and colors and all these things, and you just combine them together. So it kind of bloats your HTML where it adds a lot of uh, classes in there, but it's really powerful and it's really easy uh, to get started. But there's a couple of limitations to this, and uh, maybe I can just show you in an example in here. So uh, this is a demo uh, for a video that I just released recently using uh, SvelteKit and Storyblock. So I'll put a link to that if you want to check it out. But one of the limitations is, let's say you're in your browser and you want to like, you want to change the tag, change the color of this tag of Keynote. And uh, you would think you could come in and just add classes. So you could see that this background red is a Tailwind class. So that's what's applying that background. So you think you could just do like BG green 500 and replace that uh, and then get rid of red. But you see the background goes away. And that's because Tailwind in a very, very cool way does a just-in-time compiler where it's specifically only looking for references to classes inside of certain files. So this is based on your configuration inside of your uh, Tailwind config. And this one, for example, is saying it's only looking for classes inside of these types of files. Now, if it doesn't find a class, so it has a million classes total, but if it doesn't find a reference to one of those classes, it's not, it's not going to include it and ship it to the browser. So that's one issue. Uh, another thing is just like, as you're playing around with uh, styles, like a lot of us do a lot of CSS editing in the browser. So you, you would think you could come down here and kind of mess with these. And then how do you copy these classes? And do you do it up here? And so on and so on. So anyway, the product that I found is Tailscan. So I have a link to their product uh, hunt uh, page as well. So you can go and uh, upvote them if you think this is something that you'd enjoy. But they market themselves as the ultimate developer tool for Tailwind CSS. Uh, and this is like the website is really, really cool to start. But there's a couple of features in here that are really nice. So one is the full JIT engine support. I'll show you this in a second, meaning any class that's in Tailwind, even if you didn't include it in your original code, even if the base JIT compiler wouldn't have picked it up, you'll be able to use it with this. Uh, you can also bring your own Tailwind config. So it's going to know all the specific custom properties and things that you set. You get live editing, auto completion. You can toggle on classes, a lot of different stuff. It's really, really neat. So let's go ahead and just take a look at what this looks like. So this is uh, this is a paid product, uh, but I think it's really cool. And I've got an exclusive discount uh, in, the, in the description below. So you can check out that link for an exclusive discount. But it's a paid uh, paid license per year. And then you get the ability to download the Chrome extension. So with the Chrome extension, you'll add your API key or whatever and then have access to it. So. Uh, inside of here, uh, I can activate. Let's just refresh this page to get it back to default. I can activate uh, the plugin with Command Shift X or com or Control Shift X on Mac, and so you kind of just start hovering around, and you can see all the Tailwind classes that are used on here. Now, this is a small website. This is pretty simple, but let's say we use something like the that.us homepage, and now we activate this. This is actually kind of cool because now we can go and inspect other people's sites and see what styles they're using. And then, I mean, we could go and steal those if we wanted to. So anyway, as you're hovering around, what you do is you press space when you get to the element that you wanna lock in on. So this locks, you can also then copy the styles and you can bring them right into your project. Let's not pretend that we don't get inspiration from other people's styles. This is just now an easier way to do that. So that's really cool. So let's go back to our demo. And inside of here, let us activate this and let's come up to uh, the keynote uh, tag here and space and then uh, remember i said that the bg green earlier didn't work when we put it in here but now if we do bg green 500 notice the intellisense as well as the colors in here that's really cool so now that it actually applies and i can toggle on red etc i could go and copy these classes and or those are, that's the element uh, this is the classes i could take those directly into my code and paste them and again sometimes this isn't the most optimal flow to do some of the editing in your browser but we've all been there where that is the easiest way to do it for specific instances, especially in this case with Tailwind, if you wanna test out classes that you didn't use before. So one that I didn't use in other places is underline. So that'll work, um, again, pretty cool. Now, another thing that you can do is you can specify your Tailwind config. So this is just 
um, a very basic config here where I've got the primary color that's custom. This is actually matching the blue color from that.us. And by the way, this demo, this video, uh, using this website, I'll actually be speaking at that conference in the middle of uh, January in Round Rock, Texas, outside of Austin. I'll be giving a keynote. We're going to do live episodes of the Compressed FM podcast. It's going to be a ton of fun. This is one of my favorite conferences that I look forward to every year. So if you're interested, go and check it out. Uh, ask your work for support for time off and, and pay tickets and all that stuff. It's really, really awesome. So go and check out uh, at, at a really cool link in that.us. Uh, but I grabbed that color and I set it as primary. So now I can actually use this primary color in here. So primary, or actually this would be text primary. And we could apply that. Notice that turns that blue. That's probably not the color that we're looking for. So we could get rid of the text primary here. Uh, we could also change this tag to be a uh, BG primary. So we could do background of primary and add that. And now that's got kind of an interesting, uh, almost like floating effect. Let's actually, this would be kind of fun to maybe play around with this a little bit. I wonder if we could do like a, so we could do a shadow XL, add a little shadow to that. Uh, and then let's remove the underline. I don't know. I guess you can't really see that a whole lot, but uh, so you can see that this color is different than the background color. And that's because originally I didn't actually use the true color from that conference. Um, so I could actually come in here and select this whole thing. So this element, and then now we could do a BG of primary. So now that'll actually match those exact colors. So now that doesn't look quite as good, we could do an outline or a more aggressive shadow or something. Anyway, that's super, super cool. So not only can you come in and you can edit your styles in line, you can copy them, you have IntelliSense, you have all of the styles available to you, even if you didn't use them and the JIT compiler didn't pick them up. And then you can go into other people's uh, sites and you can come in and inspect all the things that they've used. And you can see like for something like this button here, there's uh, there's a lot that's in there and you could uh, just kind of play around see what they got, get inspiration from other sites. I think that's actually huge. Um, so that's a ton of fun is to, to be able to do that. This is Clark who um, is the founder of that conference. So anyway, I'll leave you with uh, a little image of me at uh, that conference. So if we go to the schedule and we scroll on down to Tuesday, I'll be giving a keynote about uh, feeling stuck in your career. Now, what do you do? Uh, so again, if you're interested, if you're around, even if you're just in the area and want to text me and like go meet up for coffee or something or send me a message, you probably don't have my number. Uh, it'd be cool to meet. Uh, it's a ton of fun. You could come to like an after party or something, I guess. Uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, check out Telskin. It's really, really cool. Those features uh, inside of your browser is really neat. It's well done. It's a cool product. And anyway, if you have the funds and you think it's worth it, go and check it out. And you'll have an exclusive discount code in the description below. So make sure to use that when you sign up as well. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you next time.